girl Jackie. Oh, I'm so excited to be doing this video. This is my first ever festival inspired makeup tutorial. And as you can see, I, I definitely went in, but why not do something different? You don't have to go as extreme as I did, but this year I'm going to Coachella for the first time. And I know there's going to be a bunch of different festivals. Someone just tweeted me about mystery land. I have no idea what the hell it is. I've never heard of it, but anyway, any of you guys just going out and having fun, wanting to do something different, something that you can turn up in, hopefully. I didn't know if I wanted to add the headband or not. Like I didn't know if I wanted to go full on flower child, but it's just something fun and it's very simple. Hopefully you enjoy it and let's get started. I'm gonna start by priming my skin with some Smashbox Primer Water. Well, I technically don't use this as a primer, but I'm gonna use two mattifying primers. This one's from Benefit, it's their mattifying gel. I guess this is kind of like a primer for primers, I don't know. And this is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Shine, whatever, the, the primer for matte people, okay? Now that I'm nice and matte, <laughs> I'm gonna color correct with my LA Girl Pro Conceal around the mouth area, AKA the bow mustache. I'm contouring my face with my Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick and Black Walnut. And then one concealer that I actually have been using lately is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Concealer in the shade D. I like it because it's pretty lightweight. It just feels like I'm wearing water on my face. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way. Like even this was a bit overzealous, but you know what? I'm gonna make it work. For an under eye highlight, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Yes, it's not Buttercup, y'all. I know, y'all trying to clown me. Buttercup isn't the only powder I use. It's probably just one of my favorites. I do switch it up sometimes. For my brows, I'm gonna use my usual favorite, my Kelly Baker Brow Pencil, and I think this is dark brown, but that's a little soft, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fill them in first with my ColourPop Black and Brown Pencil. Yeah, this one's just a little darker, that's all. And then look, if it's going down in Coachella, we gonna have to set them brows with brow gel because we wanna keep them on point. How cool is this corrective eye base from Kat Von D? Have you guys seen these? So it's a color correcting eyeshadow primer. It's like a stick and it appears to be kind of like a peach shade. It literally looks like my skin tone. It's in the shade deep, so they have like, I guess like fair all the way down to deep. It feels like it sets pretty quickly, so if you're gonna use it, make sure you blend it like immediately after you apply it. Blend it, blend it, okay? And I've gotten a lot of requests for this bad boy right here. This is the Nubian palette from Juvia's Place. It's beautiful. It's almost like a mini version of the Morphe 350. Super pretty. So this look is gonna be very soft and simple because there's gonna be a lot of like facial tribal looking stuff. So what we going to? All right, I'm gonna take this skin tone shade here and apply that on my crease. And I'm also applying this all over my eyelid as a base. I'm gonna take this goldish pink color here and apply that on my lid. Let's take a little bit of this dark brown and apply that on the crease. And let's do some winged liner with my Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I know, oh my God, I'm wearing wing liner, alert the media. Actually, that one's a little dried and fried, so I'm gonna use my Stila one instead. And I'm gonna push some L'Oreal Ms. Manga into my lashes because I'm gonna add falsies. And then I'm gonna pop on my Candle Lash from Lena Lashes. This like orangey gold color is really making my brown eyes like I'm really feeling some type of way about this. Oh my God, I love this lash. Well, I'm just a different woman now with these lashes, girl. Let's take some gold and put that on the inner tear duct. 
Then I took this copper orange color and I'm blending it on the bottom lash line like inner tear duct. And then this shade I'm gonna blend along my bottom lash line on the outer third. And then you know what, I'm really liking the way some brown looks along the bottom lash line just to smoke it out a little, add a little depth. Let's dust off the excess finishing powder. I can't function without finishing powder, so I'm gonna set everything with my Black Up Loose Translucent Powder. Just so we stay nice and matte, just in case we're outside in the sun all day. And then of course, don't forget about bottom mascara. I love the way this looks so far. But we ain't done yet though. Time to bronze with my Guerlain bronzer just to add a little sun kiss glow. For my cheeks I'm gonna take this peachy orange shade from my e.l.f. blush palette and my afterglow highlighter from Urban Decay in Fireball which looks like this. Time to let the hair out. know what I'm doing actually so I guess I can go orange cuz why not so I'm gonna line my lips with Taurus from Colourpop first I'm gonna use this peachy shade from Colourpop in the shade botanical it's like a peach finishing this off with more primer water Now this is the freestyle part. I'm just gonna take some white eyeliner from ColourPop. I don't know what the hell I'm doing and just freestyle this. I have the gel one and the pencil. Let me just go for it. I mean, you can keep the look as is, which I love, but it's Coachella, so why not switch it up? I would so go out just like this, especially for a festival. I'm about that life, girl. I'm about that life. You know, I'm kind of using my cheekbones as a guideline. I want to accentuate the parts that I really like, my nose bridge, my cheekbones. I like what's going on with the brows. Maybe I'll run into you guys at this year's Coachella. I'm excited. If you do, come say hey, girl. Give me a hug, take some pictures. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this fun take on a festival-inspired makeup look, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.